Hi guys, it's Caroline from carolinerushforth.com and today I wanted to talk about the topic of fear. Fear is one of those emotions, it's one of those limiting blocks, it's beliefs, it's all of the things that stop you from moving forward to achieve that which you want to achieve. It's an illusion that we create in our mind and it's not helpful and it can be very sabotaging. I'd like you to have a think about what it is that is worrying you. What is it that you're fearful about at the moment? Is there something that you want to achieve in life that you've not been able to get to? Are you feeling a bit stuck in a rut? If any of that sounds familiar, then what is it that's stopping you from moving forward? Sometimes you can be influenced by family and friends. Sometimes we can be influenced by outside circumstances. Most of the time it's fear, if we go into it really deeply, about survival, money. Will I get enough money? Will I have enough money? Trust in your intuition because your gut feeling is always telling you what you need to change, what you need to do. If you're happy about something, if there's something that you don't want to do, if you're stuck in a rut in a job, if you're stuck in a rut in a relationship, um, in a friendship or anything where you are feeling as though perhaps a life force energy is being sucked out of you. Perhaps as a result of that you lose your creativity. Perhaps you, you lose your will or ability to want to actually even get out of bed in the morning to take that awful commute to work. What is it that you could change? So just for a minute, imagine your future. Imagine your future having achieved or taken action on all of the things that you've always wanted. Imagine your future, your future self, feeling happy, feeling satisfied, feeling fulfilled. What does that feel like in your body? How does your body respond when you imagine this amazing future? When you imagine that you've taken the leap and done some career change or studied in an area that you've always wanted to study in or left um, an, an awful manager that you don't want to work with or you know a bully someone who who makes your life unhappy at work or in a relationship you know are you hanging around a relationship for fear of being on your own for fear of not being able to financially um, you know sustain yourself all of these things can leave you feeling really unhappy and really unfulfilled and I get this a lot when I'm working with people is it's just these these kind of areas of their life that they just get very stuck in because it's like you can't see beyond the uncertainty you can't see beyond that amazing future ahead so when you imagine your life doing all of the things you loved or taking that decision, making that decision, and maybe it could be a traveling goal or it could be going and working in a charity or you know anything that fills you with joy and makes you feel fulfilled. What steps can you take to move you forward? What little bite size step forward could you take that's gonna move you towards you feeling more fulfilled and living in purpose? Be consciously driving your life this is really important. A lot of people are often living their life very subconsciously. So the subconscious holds a lot of patterns, holds a lot of beliefs, um, limiting beliefs often, but the mind will, the subconscious mind will just be driving you really just in the way that you've always been used to. In order to actually make a change, it's a bit like breaking a habit. You have to change your thinking, you have to change your behavior, you have to change your thoughts. You have to believe, you have to trust in yourself. The body is an amazing and intelligent system of feedback. Your body is always telling you what's good for you. Your body is always telling you what feels good. As the same as a child when you feed it some food and it turns its head because it knows it's had enough. It's so in tune with its body. The child knows when it's full, when it's not needing anymore. And we get conditioned to move away from that, from, you know, really tuning into ourselves. So notice what's going on in your body and try not to be influenced by what other people say. It's quite a big one. 
We often rely on our family and our friends um, for giving us feedback about what's right for us. But actually what you're doing is you're taking yourself away from your own inner guidance system, really. You know, what is it that makes you feel good and go for it. So just to end, imagine now you can close your eyes or keep your eyes open. Move ahead five, ten years time into the future. How is it feeling? You're stuck. You're still in doing the same old, same old. You're in the same job. You're you're in the same relationship. You're in the same country. Um, you know, you're doing the same old, same old. You're not happy. You're feeling unwell. Your body is physically knackered. You're feeling stressed. What does that feel like when you move ahead five to ten years time, and you've not taken the action that you need to take? How does that feel in your body? And just tune into that. And then go back to what I've just mentioned about imagining your future, imagining all of those amazing dreams that you want to experience. Imagine all those amazing goals that you've achieved, you know, imagine that different life, that different person that's in your life or that different career that you're doing. Maybe you're not having to do that awful commute every day or having to constantly go and see the doctor because you're not feeling very well because when the body is feeling low vibrationally it will fall sick it gets sick so just imagine that probable future what i really love to do to really encourage when the people that i work with is to grab a piece of paper and just write down everything that you would dream to achieve you know what is your ideal career what is your what is it you want to achieve for your body? What is it that you want to experience in your life? You know, if you get to, I don't know, 80 years old, are you feeling satisfied that you've achieved everything? Because don't let fear stand in the way. Because fear is illusion, it's imagined, it's not real. And you are the CEO of your life. So I wish you the best of luck. Feel free to comment below and let me know how you get on. All right, take care, bye.